my farmhouse. I'm Leanne and I wanted to introduce myself and welcome you to this channel. I'm and hoping to start on this adventure to to document my life and my cooking so future generations might have it and to show you what how I do things around here. So without a further ado, I'm gonna pick some strawberries and we're gonna make strawberry cheesecake sweet rolls. And they are so good. Let's get started. small that they are mush and you don't want big pieces because they don't have enough to go the whole way. In this saucepan I am warming up one and one fourth cup of milk, one and third cup of sugar, one third cup of butter, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to let that come up to about 120 degrees to let the butter melt. I've cooled this down to 104 degrees, which is a temperature where your yeast won't die on you if you put it in there 110 or so. You might kill your yeast. So I'm going to just add the egg into this. And whisk thoroughly. All right. That looks good. Nice golden color from for our fresh eggs there. All right, I'm gonna add four cups of flour to my mixer. And you want to um, not just take your cup and just scoop it in. You wanna spoon your flour into your measuring cup. That way you don't get more than you should. Like how you would pack it down for brown sugar. You want to do the opposite for flour. Now I'm just using King Arthur unheat flour because it's I believe it's the best quality out there. Making a mess is my middle name because I don't have a middle name. All right, four cups of flour. And then we want two and one fourth teaspoons of yeast, which is the equivalent of a envelope that you would just buy at the store but i buy mine in bulk and i keep it in a 24 ounce mason jar wide mouth 
and I keep it in the freezer and you can use it right out of the freezer. And it stays fresh and lasts longer that way. All right. And I just put this right back in the freezer. And then we are going to put the lid on and mix it with the liquid into my flour and yeast. And we're gonna put the lid on this baby and mix it. You want to scrape the size of your bowl and if the dough is still too wet and not coming together, you might want to add a little bit more flour. I would say no more than a quarter cup at a time. All right, we'll maybe do an eighth there. Because it's very humid today. And that will have effects on your dough. <laughs> Spend five minutes of kneading. I'm gonna take the hook off. Now I recently got this and I really enjoy using it. Everything that I've used it on has slid right off of it. Put it on your clean surface and just form it into a bowl. Well, there we go. You just want to tuck it in on itself. And then Get the top all greased, then you're going to saran wrap it. We're going to let it rise for 
two hours and just in case the electric might go off, which it's already done today, I'm gonna to write the time that it's gonna be ready. Just so we stay on track here. So I'll come back in two hours after this is risen and we'll roll our dough out. Now look how it rose since we put it in the bowl. You just want to deflate your dough here. And you want to roll it out into a 12 by 18 square or rectangle. Square would be those numbers the same, but you know. being persnickety or just want to get it to the right angle. Alright, then we'll get our pastry brush here and just slap on some butter. and frosting is but we have six ounces of cream cheese and six tablespoons of butter at room temperature in a hot day like this with the windows open no problem getting that Some of the strawberry juice into the icing here and a teaspoon of vanilla or not just because we already have that strawberry in there and I 
cup of the Timex sugar I just made. Let's check these out. Oh my, I really do wish you were here. Look at that. Go through and look. Amazing. You want to bake these at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes until they're lightly brown. And my, don't they look amazing. And now we got to get that frosting on there. Let's get it smeared around there. Around the edges there too. And don't be skimping. You hear? These look amazing, don't they? And it might be all about the texture inside. They are so fluffy and soft and the dough just melts in your mouth. Why? Well, hope you enjoyed watching and thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe and like and share with your friends.